Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Swimmable Shoes here. Today we are going to talk about how to defeat the Ender Dragon. It is gonna be a good time. Well, let's get started. First you need this. This is the End Crystal. If you would like a tutorial about how to get this and how to find the end, let me know in the comments, cause it's real different. It's real different, but this happens. This happens. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. This happens and then you get your dragon. So to go off from here, I'm gonna show you what we did when we fought the ender dragon with my brother who was fighting him for the first time. And when I say fighting, I mean he was hiding under a rock so that he wouldn't die and we fought him but we're gonna give you some tips and we're gonna show you how to defeat that guy right there let's get started first things first you have to find the end I highly suggest building a portal once you find the end so that you can get to the end much faster once you get there bring a bed bring a bed set your respawn first thing set your respawn did you set it? Did you set your respawn? The dragon is very dangerous. He like vomits like particles. So don't die from those. I don't, honestly, I don't even know how to do this. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. If you make them angry, an enderman, you have to kill them. You guys are dangerous. Don't fall. Do you see the edge? That's the, that's the abyss. You'll die and you'll lose everything you have. And I'm not getting you another trident. You have to get your own trident. Okay, that's enough of me being mean to my little brother. <laughs> we also prepared for this in a big way. We made sure to get armor that was not going to be as important. It's armor that is protecting you. Like, for sure you want falling feather falling don't not falling you want feather falling on your armor so that you, when you do fall because you will fall it won't hurt you as much we didn't wear our elytra either we were being very careful i knew i was going to die a couple of times because fighting this dragon like he's he's dangerous like he's a he's a literal boss <laughs> so yeah you want to prepare by wearing armor that you know you won't be super sad about like don't wear your god armor that that's just going to make you sad when you lose it Okay, now into the important stuff. So the Ender Dragon spawns immediately when you enter the end for the first time. So when you first walk in, you don't have to have those end crystals. This guy's just going to be there and he's going to be ready to kill you. So be ready. You can also wear this cool helmet thing, which will protect you against Endermen. I did this the first time. Me and Mashanga, we did this the first time we defeated the Ender Dragon. And it was very helpful, but it's hard to see. So I eventually just learned to like look down the rest of my life because Endermen are probably like 50% of your problem because the Ender Dragon is hurting them. They're near you. If you even like touch them, they want to kill you. If you slightly look at me in the eyes, they want to kill you. So that's a good way to protect against those guys. Back to the plot. So what you want to do when you first start trying to kill the dragon, first you have to destroy each one of these crystals. He is going to gain his power from these crystals. You saw in the beginning, there's like that weird little vortex thingy. <laughs> that is him gaining power from these crystals. So this bar on the top that says Ender Dragon, it's not going away until that guy is dead do you see how he's drawing strength from these crystals we will not kill him until we get all these crystals one of the best ways to get these crystals is by building up to each crystal and destroying it that way you can destroy some of them with a bow and arrow but the ones that are within the iron gate you cannot get to them until you destroy the gate covering them around them so you have to build up to those ones at least i'm not as great at using a bow and arrow to get them so i like to just build up to them 
And then you can kind of like shoot at the dragon from up on the pillars as well. Uh oh, I'm about to die. Yeah. Dying will happen. My advice, again, wear armor that you don't super care about, but it will protect you enough to get through fighting the dragon. That way, you're not in a super hurry to get back. And just go. I mean, you set your respawn in this little cool house thingy, and now you can just walk back over and get your stuff. Got it. He doesn't have strength anymore. Oh no. He got me. Dragon's breath is another way you can die from the dragon. He's mad at you because you're destroying his crystals. So he's gonna spit out his stinky breath on you and it can kill you. So another reason to have armor that you kind of care about, but then you're not having to be super worried when you die because you're gonna die. But the whole point is to try and defeat the dragon. Bring yourself a bow with infinity. You will lose so many arrows just trying aimlessly to get him. And you should, you should keep trying. Keep throwing those arrows at him. Because this is the only point where you can get him with a sword when he's down here. Okay, so at this point, he is weak. You can see his life bar, health bar, is getting lower. And I like to build up so that I don't have to worry about Enderman, which you just saw there. Um, but then, again, you're risking falling off, so don't build it too high. Make sure you have Feather Falling. Once he gets to this point here and is over the portal, you want to hit him with a sword as much as humanly possible. Hitting the head is the best because that's the most vulnerable, but it's also the most dangerous spot because that's where he is shooting out his Dragon's Breath. So, I mean, take your risks. Learn from your mistakes. Careful, there's gonna drop some stuff. His like vomit, I think, drops. Can I get this XP over here? Always remember, when you're playing with someone else, take all the XP, don't leave anything for anyone else. Now that you've defeated the dragon, congratulations. You get a little portal that is gonna get you to other places outside of the end. So it's gonna get you closer potentially to an end city, which will get you closer to Elytra, which is the end goal. And it's kind of fun. I feel like we've done this so many times. <laughs> we love getting those crystals because you do need the crystals in order to bring the dragon back and every time you bring him back you'll get a new portal so once you're done checking out the end and you go back into the portal to go back to the other world your normal world you're when you do this for the first time you're gonna see the credits roll and it's like wait is this the end of minecraft but like it totally isn't it's not really like the end of the game it's Definitely an important moment. You really are a Minecrafter now, and you can call yourself that. But there's so much more to do. Once you get Elytra, you can fly around everywhere. I was looking at our first house, and I was realizing we thought we were so far. And the other day, I was just flying around, finding these like old bases where we were exploring. And it was like literally like two rockets away like we I, I didn't have to fly very far to get there and now it's like the world has opened up uh, having an elytra changes the game but the game is not over it's kind of like just starting and on that note we're gonna end there thanks for watching subscribe to this channel or i'm gonna tell your mom you didn't do your homework she's probably my age anyway she'll believe me but on the reels, 
It's been fun. I'm really glad you guys have watched this video with us. If there's more that you want to learn about finding the end, like I said, leave it in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel and like this video if you did in fact like the video. See you next time.